the 2014 Ramon Magsaysay Award. Saul Marlina Menorong. Indonesia's rainforests, the world's third largest, are gravely threatened. It is not just the forests that are being decimated by corporate irresponsibility, government neglect and corruption. What stands threatened as well is the very existence of millions of indigenous people living within the forests who depend on forest resources for their food, shelter, and livelihood. In 1999, Saor Marlina Menoro, a young Indonesian anthropologist, decided to devote her life to protecting and uplifting the lives of Indonesia's Orang Rimba, the forest people. Her life choice was both radical and surprising. Since the nature-loving Manurung, known universally as Bhutan, was raised in the sheltered environment of a middle-class family in Jakarta. With degrees in literature and anthropology, she could easily have chosen a career as a citified academic. But she said, I'd had enough just playing around with nature. It was time for me to do something and become useful. After four years working as an education facilitator with a forest conservation organization in Sumatra, Butet formed Sokola with four NGO colleagues to focus on the education needs of forest people. Starting in the Jambi jungle, their major program called Sokola Rimba, or Jungle School, was inspired by Butet's direct experience as a nomadic teacher, living with the Orang Rimba, and moving with them as they traveled from place to place to hunt or gather forest products. Armed with only a small blackboard, some chalk and pencils, and a few books, for eight years, Butet would teach groups of children out in the open, focusing on basic literacy and relevant life skills. Sokola works principally in central Sumatra's forests, where over 3,500 Orang Rimba live in relative isolation. Sokola's volunteer teachers do not follow a fixed template, but customize their teaching to the local context in consultation with the Orang Rimba community. They emphasize life skills rather than academic knowledge, stressing basic literacy for children and practical skills to cope with the changing forest environment. Orang Rimba have to deal with the increasing encroachment of forest exploiting businesses and government programs, which threaten their basic rights, livelihoods, and community cohesion. Since the Orang Rimba are hunters and gatherers, Sokola schedules are flexible, and teachers must follow them as they move. Butet and her volunteer teachers struggle with the challenges of sustaining themselves through donations and volunteerism, working in dangerous and remote locations, often caught between illegal loggers and the people they seek to help, and overcoming cultural taboos that discourage girls from being schooled. Impressively, Butet's leadership has now built up Sokola into a network of 14 schools in 10 provinces, run by volunteer teachers and trained Orang Rimba youth, benefiting 10,000 children and adults. 
young, newly literate Orang Rimba now serve their people as tutors and community leaders. Trained in advocacy and empowered to do liaison between their communities and the outside world, these youth represent their elders in government policy making that impacts on the forest people. Sokola's challenges remain formidable, but an undeterred Butet is confident that Sokola's second generation of volunteer teachers will grow and inspire similar initiatives by others. She herself doesn't plan to do anything else. As long as I can still carry my backpack and I can still walk, nothing and no one can stop me, she quietly asserts. In electing Saor Marlina Manorum to receive the 2014 Ramon Maksaisai Award, the Board of Trustees recognizes her ennobling passion to protect and improve the lives of Indonesia's forest people. And her energizing leadership of volunteers in Sokola's customized education program that is sensitive to the life ways of indigenous communities and the unique development challenges that they face. 